It's time once again for our Ozark Sly Book Club and Conrad Sump is back from the Springfield Green County Library. Conrad, always good to see you. Yes, How are always things? great to be here. Things are great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you have three books today. That's Excited right. Excited to walk through these. Yes. The first one is called Black Sheep. Tell us about it. Yes. And all of these books are um, going to be featured at a program tomorrow night called Fall Book Buzz, which oh, okay. is at Brentwood, the Brent Schweitzer Brentwood branch at 7 p.m. So like different librarians will be buzzing about different fall books. We'll have over a hundred free books to give away. Oh, wow. So we'll have have copies of a couple of these so I'm super excited about and it. And anyone's welcome for that? And anyone is welcome for Perfect. that. So but yeah so Black Sheep is one of the books I'm most excited about this fall. It comes out next week from Berkeley mm. um, and so basically it's like a Families are complicated, and main character Vesper, she's no different. Her mom is like this distant um, horror movie icon. Her dad abandoned the family when she was young, and so at 18, she leaves home, and she leaves behind her, her family, her deeply religious community, and she's basically told, like, you know, if you go, you're not welcome back. Oh. Mm. Well, then one night, six years later, she receives a wedding invitation to the wedding of her best friend and her former boyfriend, oh. but there's no indication of who sent it, so she's mm. kind of like, okay, am I allowed back in the community? Who sent this? And yeah. so she returns home and everyone's very excited to see her, maybe too excited to see her. Okay. And so she has to sort of confront her um, past while also kind of figuring out like, what is going on here? Yeah, <laughs> so there's so a little bit of mystery to There's some that. mystery, okay. yeah. I like it. Some twists and turns. What are people like going to love about it? You know, I think what Rachel Harrison does so well is her characters are really relatable, really genuine. Mm. Um, and, you know, the way that she plays with tropes are really smart. And, um, you know, she just has this great mix of, like, horror, humor, and then this examination of, like, relationships and culture. Um, so I think there's a lot there that people will connect with, honestly. Mm. Yeah, okay. beyond the storyline. Yes. I like it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so the next one you brought in is called Rouge, Yeah, right? Rouge okay, uh, this by Mona Awad, and this came out yesterday from Mary Cerucci Books. But so it's like this gothic fairy tale that's been called a mix between Snow White and Eyes Wide Shut. Oh, and uh, yeah, what so a mix. <laughs> I know. So it follows this woman who's kind of like beauty routine obsessed and um, she has a fraught relationship with her mom who's also beauty obsessed and uh, one night her mom dies in an accident that Bella's convinced isn't an accident. And so while she's sort of investigating this, she figures out that her mom was part of this like high-end um, beauty spa, this mysterious kind of high-end beauty spa. And so she kind of starts looking into that and um, she kind of figures out, you know, just how much people are willing to pay mm -hmm. for oh, beauty. Interesting. Yeah. I think so there's is, a lot deeper. Yeah, yeah I was going to say that. <laughs> so like, can you, is there, will the reader pick out themes of like beauty and like the the, I don't know, the, the themes of society around that, or is yeah. it more based in the mystery? I think there's a lot there about, like, you know, how the things that are sort of market to us sort of, like, shape and scar us, and mm -hmm. then um, sort of, like, what lies underneath this this search for, um, you know, products that will keep us youthful and, like, mm -hmm. slow the aging process. Um, and I think so people will recognize a lot of, like, societal stuff as far as beauty is concerned. Mm -hmm. But there are also a lot of really great sort of, like, fairy tale references, mm -hmm. which I think we all have this cultural understanding of. Yeah. Um, so I think that will be really enjoyable for people. Awesome. Okay. That sounds yeah. like a really good read. Yeah. yeah. So last up is called Death Valley. Death Valley by Melissa Broder. I love Melissa Broder. This comes out October 3rd from Scribner. Um, and it's sort of fantastical and I love that and so basically this woman um, shows up at this Best Western because she's trying to like escape the stress of her life because her dad got in an accident he's in the ICU and so she's you know experiencing this grief and this sort of like anticipatory grief of him potentially dying and so she hikes out into the desert and she happens upon this immense cactus um, probably too large to be real and it, it seems like there's an opening in the cactus. So as any of us would do, she goes into the cactus. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> yeah. so there's a whole other world <laughs> There's a in whole other world in there, and it's yeah. sort of this surreal journey oh, through fun. her grief, but also like this um, fight for survival and okay. you know, knowing that you can get through that and get through yeah, that grief. Absolutely. Now, do you have yeah. friends with a library sale coming up? We do, yeah, so that is going on now. Okay. So um, it goes through Sunday. You can go to the library.org slash book sale mm -hmm. to find out more about the dates, um, special pricing, and just, um, yeah, it's open and free to the public. Thanks, cool. Conrad. So, yeah, of course. Thank you. We, we love having it. you. <laughs>